Hi, I'm Nathan from Pry3G and today we are going to explore the differences between the 64-bit version and the 32-bit version of the Raspberry Pi OS. First, let's have a look at what the terms 64-bit and 32-bit actually mean. The number of bits refers to the number of binary digits for each memory address. So each byte of the RAM needs to have a unique address, which is an integer, and this integer consists of 32 digits which can be either 0 or 1. That means that there is 2 to the power of 32 possible addresses, which equates to around 4 GB of possible RAM per process. For 64-bit systems, that means that there is 2 to the power of 64 addresses, so each process can allocate up to 17 billion GB of RAM. It is important to note that the Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit only runs on Raspberry Pi models with the corresponding processor. That are the Raspberry Pi 0 2, the Raspberry Pi 3, the Compute Module 3, the Raspberry Pi 4 and the Compute Module 4. The 32-bit version runs on any Raspberry Pi model. Now the big question is, should you switch to Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit? Let's have a look at some disadvantages of the 64-bit version. The OS is rather new, so it might not be stable and there may be some annoying bugs. Furthermore, some packages may not be compatible with the 64-bit version. And it is not running on every Raspberry Pi. Some of the advantages of the 64-bit version are that it can be faster for some applications, especially for applications that require lots of RAM in a single process, because each process can use almost infinite amounts of RAM. Also, for some packages, the 32-bit version is not maintained, so you need to run a 64-bit OS to run the package. The benchmark tests show that the performance increase is barely noticeable for everyday applications, but for very memory-heavy applications, there can be quite a significant boost in performance. So if you need lots of RAM for your application, then you should probably switch to the 64-bit version, but if you are using your Raspberry Pi for everyday tasks, I would advise to stick to this 32-bit version, as it is more stable and battle tested You can upgrade your 32-bit OS to the 64-bit OS, but it is a very hard and time-consuming process and there is no guarantee that it works in the end. So the best way to install the 64-bit version is to use the Raspberry Pi Imager, and we have a video that shows how to do that. If you want to know which version of the Raspberry Pi OS your Raspberry Pi is running, execute the command uname-m. This will output armv7l for the 32-bit variant and arch64 for the 64-bit variant. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Also let us know about your experience with the 64-bit variant in the comments below.